EFNN, the Tiger Financial News Network. TFNN Headline News Update. Good morning, everyone. Basil Chapman here on this 23rd day of November, the day before Thanksgiving. I hope you all have a wonderful Thanksgiving. Let's look at the 10 a.m. Tiger Financial News Network market update. 69 points up in the Dow, 34,161. New recovery high. Recovery high meaning that it is now above all the left side highs made since the low that was made on the 13th of October. The high that was made the week of uh, the 19th of August is 34,281. And today we've gone to 34,243. We're actually tackling that high. That's incredible. And we're looking at the S&P. So the Dow is leading, still leading. The S&P is trying to play catch up. It's stuck at this 200 period moving average. Very nice move up uh, to 4,022.81. It's just under the previous high that was made about six days ago. Testing the 200 period moving average. Can it break above it? That's going to be the big question over the next few days. A lot of resistance there. The QQQ is trading very nicely up at $1.84, 287. This is the Invesco QQQ Trust Series, the Index 100, the IWM, the Russell 2000. Small caps, very nice move up. Uh, it's up uh, 27 cents at 184.96, trying to tackle the 186.80 area of the 200 period moving average. Now, gold earlier this morning slide uh, had had quite a slide and all of a sudden it came back it's up to at 1742 it's trying to hold in here it's really important that it tries to get to the 1758 1762 level in the next couple of days the dollar's pulling back had a nice bounce uh, for a couple of days and now it's giving it back it's at 160 106.82 uh, down 33 cents uh, the TLT is in leg D. We said that, that was our target in the Chapman Wave methodology. It should go into the 102s today. It hit 102.78. It's up 74 cents at 102.22. Um, we, we're going to watch this because so far the yields are pulling back. And the VIX index is still down uh, sharply. Uh, it's running a tad. It's up uh, fractionally now, but it is down sharply this entire week. And at this particular point, trading the 21.35 level. Yes, I think it's getting close to having a bit of a bounce. That means there has to be some kind of negative surprise in the economy or something that affects the markets over the coming, I'd say, five sessions going to Wednesday of next week. Um, but so far, this is really, really good.